Oh, here we are. This is my second choice spot. My first choice spot has got a roosting swan. And although it's not in the swim at the moment, there's loads of feathers on the bank and I know it's going to be returning. So rather risking spooking the area, which is quite shallow. I've come to my second choice swim. Nice tree line here, nice gravel run. Drops off to around about three and a half feet. Not deep. I'll put the one rod out. I might alternate where the rod is, but first choice is going to be one rod just out in line with this tree to my right here. As you can see, it's quite shallow. There's quite a bit of weed out there. I'm going to be fishing no more than, <laughs> you might say, half a wrap out. Anyway, I'm going to get the gear out and get sorted out. But it looks a nice evening for it. We've had a bit of rainfall, so fingers well and truly crossed. Right then. Let's go through the baits that I brought. I've got the Palatrax Jungle pop-ups. That's a nice mixture of peanut, coconut and tiger nut. I've also got these in bottom baits. Got my black snail boilies, the central baits black snail boilies. And I'm going to be alternating on the one rod between those two baits. Also got with me some Sonu baits, bloodworm, S pellets. Got to admit, I did pick them up at Angling Direct Ready and they had 50% off plus 10% on the day. So 60% off made these really cheap and cheerful. And I've got a few balls there, around about 10 to 12 balls of the hemp and nut ground bait. And I've just got that mixed together with a little bit of bird seed and molasses. As I say, not going to be putting too much loose feed in, a few broken up boilies and a few balls of the hemp and nut ground bait. I'll show you the balls of that. I've made it fairly dense. So there you go. Nice dense balls and so it breaks down slowly. There is rud in this particular lake and roach so I expect they will make their way munching through the bait. And that's the sum of it really. Just fingers crossed. You never know. As I say, never fished this lake before but I have seen a few carp, tench, bream and rud milling about. So hopefully we'll get amongst a fish or two. Cheers mate. Oops. This means I step back on my arm. Yes. Nice nighttime tinker. Lovely bite. And my brother kindly handing me the uh, landing net. Cracking. Absolutely cracking. Just as we was making a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Wonderful. Cheers. Well there we go. Weren't far out with my estimation. Six pound eleven. I'd said seven, didn't I, to you? Yeah, you said seven. Yeah. And um, yeah, five ounces out, not too far out, but first blood, lovely paddle to it, great fight, really good scrap, as I say, and it's a very lively, lively tinker. But yeah, just draw myself back. There we go. How's about that? Can't complain.
come down to fish late evening. I didn't get down to around about half eight, nine ish, and fish through the early hours. Cracking, absolutely stellar. Beautiful teddy bear eyes, powerful, muscular, as only a tinker can be. Very, very happy with this. Corky. Off you go. <laughs> Real live wire, that one. Beautiful. Water's like bath, bath water. Gorgeous. What's the fish? There's a decent fish in here. I'll just see the um, net piece. Thoroughly enjoyable. Tell you what, talk about a staunch scrap, wasn't it? Really, really put me to the sword a bit, and wasn't going to be landed in a hurry. <laughs> My brother doing a sterling job of the landing net there, though. So, very, very welcome. A very, very nice early morning tinker, as I say, in cracking condition as well. Lovely. Very, very nice. Nice proportion about it as well. Pleasant and enjoyable. Very much the case. Get this one slip back. Very nice too. Oh, morning has broken and it brought with it another nice tinker. So yeah, very happy with that. It's been very enjoyable. Did lose a couple of baits during the night to, I thought, first off crayfish, but I don't think it was crayfish. I checked the margins of the lake and I didn't see a single crayfish. And trust me guys, I know where to expect crayfish. I've trapped enough of them. I caught them by hand like, you know, in France. And when I say caught by hand, I mean a heck of a lot by hand. I caught one night over a hundred crayfish by hand with a sock over my hand. So I know where to expect them. I didn't spot any in the margins of the lake. And so after I wound in and found my bait was taken, then recasted. Same happened again. A couple of bleeps, bait was gone. That was an hour later. So fishing with thin air for some part of the trip at the back end of it anyway. So a little bit annoying that, but nice about two tench, especially this morning one. Um, lovely condition, beautiful, very pristine looking fish. Brother doing a sterling job landing the uh, fish for me. Always nice to have a, have a welcome accomplice, and I would use the term gilly, but I think that's a bit detracting and not fair, you know, on the other person as well. It's a, nice to have a very, very welcome person alongside you who's very, very accomplished with a landing net. So, yeah, it's very nice to slip that fish over the net, and, um, you know, very picture perfect looking tinker. Um, but yeah, a little bit annoying, as I say. With those you know two bites that i had in between it's definitely eels i think weren't craze if it was craze i must have found the only crayfish in the lake although no my luck at times that's not exactly impossible is it anyway i am going to head off home i hope you've enjoyed this impromptu video uh, it's been excellent being able to film it and bring it to you chaps and if you have enjoyed it do take time to click the thumbs up button and 
share it on your group pages, Facebook or your fishing forums. That would be very, very, very welcome. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? There's a subscribe button there and the bell icon to the other side of it. And if you click both, you will get notifications of all my new uploads. Plus, there's a good back catalogue of old videos to look through and peruse in general. Anyway, from a Tinker Tailor Soldier Sailor, or Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, <laughs> Bankside Trip, I will catch you on another video guys and I do hope you're enjoying your fishing wherever you're having a dangle.